Hello, Vortex. I wanted to let you know some very, very good news. Um, while I was in the process of cleaning out my car, because I just don't know what's going to happen, um, I'm probably going to have to have her towed to an auto place just to have her looked at because I don't trust that she's going to make it to an auto place. But anyway, I don't know if you guys have watched some previous videos of mine where I was talking about crying uncontrollably because I lost a package of stamps almost immediately after I had purchased it. Well, <laughs> it's funny. Because I've been saying to myself, like, every time that I clean my car ever so slightly, I tell myself, well, that would be really cool if you could find your stamps. And I even said that to myself today, and that's cool that that will be the last time that I make that statement. Because um, <laughs> they were in the trunk. So I know what happened. I had groceries, and when I put the groceries in the trunk, I had put the stamps in the trunk, but I just, I'm so dumb. I, I think I really do have dementia. <laughs> dementia. Dementia. It's like a different version of it or something. But yeah, I, I know what happened. And I remember it. I remember just flinging them into the trunk compartment. I don't really have a trunk because I have a hatchback. But yeah, it's crazy. Because when I found the stamps, I was like, dude, that makes perfect sense that that happened and that I don't even remember it. And that, you know, whenever I do things like just teeny tiny things like that, you know, I immediately, you know, toss that recollection off a cliff because like I've, I've, I guess I don't need it. Um, and then I have a panic attack later because of stuff that I don't remember. Um, so... That's interesting though. I really hope that I can fix my car, but I just don't know because I've had my car for like, God, uh, seven years now. But she's old, she's from 2007. So, I'll be really, really sad if I have to let her go. But that might just be the case. Who knows, though. I'm praying for a Christmas miracle. Yeah, I've been really, really sad. In case you can't tell by my voice. I've just been really, really, really downtrodden. Can you be uptrodden? Probably not. Can you be any other form of trodden? <laughs> Downtrodden, uptrodden, in the middle, trodden, roundabout, trodden. Yeah, man. I also found these coins. But yeah, I, I, um, I get really sad when I think about stuff because it's like, I process everything like it's like it's death, essentially. Like I realize that um, being the way that I am is is very um, exhausting. <laughs> That's probably the best word that I could use to describe it. It's exhausting, and the most exhausting thing about it is just not being able to explain it to people. Um, the only people that really get it are you know on my level, and nobody's going to take them seriously either. You know and Stuff that I think and believe that I would say is pretty valid, you know, will just get tossed out the window because it sounds crazy. Um, and even if it's more likely to be true than anything that you're told in, in the news cycle, it's like people will still discount it because, you know, of, of my um, mental illness, you know. So that's that's how society continues to look at people, especially, you know, if you're counterculture in any kind of way. That means you're on the fringe. That means that you're you're too out there. 
and I, I, I really think that like the more, the more you get accused of of being um, on the fringe, like the more clear-headed you probably are. But it's hard to remain clear-headed when you feel like everybody around you doesn't understand you or they don't understand like things that you think and feel and even though you have evidence and history and shit um <laughs> I mean honestly though I really think that everything's a lie you know I mean I don't I don't think that that's just a recent thing I feel like they've always told us a bunch of lies and before politics there was religion and religion used propaganda, religion used political correctness to further advance their cause, you know. I was reading about that, I was reading about the Reformation. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I really hate that about religion. It's just used as a weapon. And it's like all these people fight over the same thing. Like really, religion and politics just tells you the story of life and just how stupid human beings are. The fact that everybody's fighting, and they're fighting people that are very similar to themselves, so... <sighs> I just feel, uh... Pretty, pretty hopeless when it comes to, uh, the human race. But, um... You know, it's not a good, it's not a good thing to be hopeless. You gotta be a little bit more optimistic. And I'm optimistic when it comes to myself and my faith, but I'm just very sad, regardless. So many people think that, oh, if you're a Christian, you're just supposed to be happy all the time. I mean, I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing in, in what I know to be true. I'm rejoicing in my faith, but... That still doesn't make the world that I live in any less terrible. <laughs> you know? The world will always suck.